Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Just as well that you're here. I wanted to give a, a little update about the whole intermittent fasting thing. I think it's been, what, about a week since I decided to start that. Yeah, I'm probably, probably not gonna be doing that anymore. Sort of. The coffee I make at home is a little better. I guess that's some money wasted, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Intermittent fasting. You know, I gave it about a week or so to see how I would feel, and I really didn't feel any better, just hungry in the morning. And so I decided that I would just stop doing that. The funny thing is, you know, I say I like kind of done, sort of, with the uh, intermittent fasting diet, because despite the fact that I told myself that I was done, I have just kind of continued with the same schedule of eating. Somehow, you know, normally it takes like, what, 40 days or something to get into the habit of something? Well, somehow I have gotten into the habit of not eating breakfast and such in just a week. So even though I told myself I was stopping, I, I haven't. Instead, I'm on the same intermittent fasting sort of schedule, just eating, you know, the more meat and that sort of thing, instead of just whatever. Seems to be working. Seem to feel a little bit better. But uh, am I really on the diet if I'm not on the diet, but still following the same schedule and diet? I don't know. Maybe it was just telling myself that I wasn't doing it was all it took. You may have noticed that it's incredibly sunny today. The, uh, the weather has changed. It's no longer winter-like, which means that I'm stepping in goose grease as I walk along here. You know, I've noticed that activity, I think I answered this question in the last one, Activity seems to be the key to losing weight and getting proper sleep. Oh, the goose grease. Oh, speaking of the geese, here they come. They think that I brought them food. I'm really just trying to avoid their, uh, their droppings as I walk along here. So what do you guys think? Activity, diet, when you eat, when you don't eat, getting enough sleep. What is the key here? Maybe it's different for every person. That's probably the ticket right there. It's all dependent on you. Well, we'll see if this works for me. I better get out of here before I step in too much of this stuff. Ah, well, we're back from that whole adventure. I'm back to having the microphone way over there instead of right up here next to me so you can actually hear me clearly without echo. But, um, yeah. What do you think? I mean, seriously, this, uh, this whole fasting thing, I was so excited to get started on it, and, uh, well... I, you know, what am I saying? I guess I'm still technically on it, because I, even though I said to myself in my mind, I'm not gonna do this, uh, this fasting thing anymore, somehow I have continued to do the, the fasting thing. Maybe it's laziness, you know? It was just easier not to cook breakfast than, uh, you know, like when my son is not here, he's at school, than it is to just not eat until lunchtime. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's that's terrible. That That's a shame. Boy. I'm, I'm continuing the fasting diet thing, the intermittent fasting, because I'm too lazy to make breakfast. That's, that's not true either. I mean, there's, uh, you know, like Captain Crunch and Lucky Charms. I keep that on hand because my, you know, six-year-old son likes to eat that kind of stuff. I remember back in the day, I used to love to eat that stuff. I mean, when I get it out for him, I, you know, every now and again, I'll, I'll throw in a handful of uh, some of the Captain Crunch. I'm not a big fan of the Lucky Charms because I feel like it just, you know, those little marshmallows. Those aren't marshmallows. What is that stuff anyway? But um, bad for your health. Just a big pile. Why don't you just take a bowl of milk and dump some like sugar in there? Why don't you just crumble up some cookies, you know? I guess they have a cereal that is that. The cookie crisp, right? <laughs> I haven't introduced my son to that one. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to. Um, he seems to like Captain Crunch. Fruit Loops is another, another one. I think that he would like tricks. 
that, that was always a favorite of mine. Captain Crunch, Trix, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, all of this stuff. Anyway, yeah, I guess I, I guess I am continuing the uh, the intermittent fasting to uh, some degree. I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to look into what I what I should do. Well, well, hang on, I'm, I'm continuing, I guess, but in my mind, I'm not, and that's the trick. It's like some kind of uh, reverse psychology sort of thing, where I tell myself that I'm not on this uh, intermittent fast thing, and. The, uh, the other part of my mind that's, uh, you know, from the split personalities doesn't, uh, doesn't know that it's being tricked. That doesn't sound good either. Boy, if intermittent, is that what intermittent fasting does to you? I thought that Joe Rogan said that this was like the key. Well, maybe he's saying like, eat nothing but meat. Wasn't there like this liver king guy for a while and then it turned out he was on steroids? I guess, you know, following advice of people on the internet, that's what it gets you to, you know, you'll find yourself in some back alley uh, taking shots from some guy that says he's a doctor. He's gonna get you the, the big muscles or something. Probably don't do that. Uh, in fact, definitely don't do that. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see where this goes. Where this intermittent fasting thing is going to go. Combined with, you know, a, a better choice of diet, I guess you could say. Which consists of, like, steak and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. That gets expensive, especially these days. You go to the store and buy some steak, and it's like 30 bucks for a steak at the store. It's not even cooked. I don't get it. I can go to the restaurant and order a steak at, you know, like, uh, I don't know, what... How much is it to go to, the, you know, I'm, I'm probably wrong. It's been too long since I've been to one of those sort of chain places. Go into the Outback Steakhouse, the Chili's, get myself a 12 ounce steak for, I don't know how much they, they cost these days. I never did order steaks in those places. If I ever went there, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's a burger place. I just get the, uh, the burgers. They're not bad, you know, it's better than going to Burger King or McDonald's or something. But um, at, at probably similar price at this point. Anyway, that that was my update on this intermittent fast. That I quit it, but in reality I did not quit it. I guess, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it quits for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Come, come, rock.